Hello everyone, and welcome to day 270 of playing Persona for Golden in real time. The series where I play the other day in the game on the same date in real life, one day at a time. Now, I've been doing this for the last 269 days, so if you could subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. But without further ado, today is January 5th, so let's go ahead and see what the game is up to today. Alright, so we're battling our cold, and let's get synced up, and that's gonna wrap up the gameplay portion for today and bring us on to shuffle time. All right, a very eventful day. Let's go ahead and wrap it up and see what fate has in store for us today. Today's card is the Six of Cups in the upright position. So let's go ahead and see what that means fate has in store for us. The Six of Cups upright generally represents generosity, naive happiness, and childhood. It can stand for you wanting to return to a happier time, whether as when you were a child, teenager, or young adult. Many times, these memories are things of the past, which reflect the aspects of ourselves that have vanished. You may feel that remembering these times is the only way to feel happy. The Six of Cups appearing in a reading seems to indicate that while we may look upon the past with a happy eye, we must avoid living in it. The Six of Cups can also mean that you are returning to a familiar place. This could be your hometown, an old friend's home, a school, or any place that holds a lot of meaning for you. You are seeking to reconnect with people from your past. Bringing back old memories reminds us of our childhood, a time when things were simpler. Coming after the Five of Cups, this card can also suggest that you may have suffered a loss or a disappointment of sorts, and you are making the journey home. You are looking to the past to find the answers of a crisis or challenge that you are facing now. You may be seeking the comfort and warmth of people that unconditionally love you, gathering strength to face the trials that are in front of you. Okay. Sounds like we're kind of going through some stuff and need a little bit of comfort or you know, take it easy a little bit, and I think taking a break is definitely a, a need, something that is necessary, but, you know, like all things, comes with balance. And, yeah, when it comes to trying to live in the past, that generally not something that's recommended. You can't really go back there, and there's a lot of things that, looking back when you're like, oh yeah, waking up, watching Saturday morning cartoons, not having any problems, it's, you know, it was nice for the time, but now... I think living a, a life where the purpose is to watch Saturday morning cartoons or just not really do anything in the long run, it's not going to be meaningful. And looking back, it's going to just kind of feel unrewarding. And so going out there, trying to do things like playing Persona for Gold in real time every day, stuff that is worth doing is generally is going to take some effort and it's not going to be immediately rewarding, but in the long run, it's going to be the most satisfactory satisfactory accomplishments to do and look and looking back at the end of your life it's definitely the moments that you're proud that you're glad that you did and so while it's not easy it's definitely something that i think is going to be better in the long run rather than taking that immediate gratification that doesn't really lead to anywhere down the road. but that's going to be another car down and another day done so that's going to wrap it up for today. Feel free to subscribe to if you'd like to follow along the journey as I do this every day. And tomorrow we can see how, our, how we're dealing, dealing with our cold. But either way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.